Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would create this New Year glam look for you. So I've created a Boxing Day glam, I've created a Christmas party glam, so why not make it a trio and have a New Year glam? So this is my New Year glam makeup look. If you want to find out how I created it, then keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take the concealer. I've just got the natural collection. It's just a cheap and cheerful concealer and I'm just going to prime my eye. Like so. And using my finger I'm just going to blend that all in. Then I'm just going to take the Huda Beauty Smoky Palette and I'm going to take this brown shade right here and I'm just going to put that all over my lid as my Face. I think New Year's looks can kind of go two ways. You either go really dramatic or you can go quite subtle. It really just does depend on what look you want to create. It's completely up to you. Today is just going to be a little bit more dramatic, I think, but I'm still working it out. <laughs> so now my base is done. I'm going to take another blending brush and I'm going to dip it into this deep black shade right here. I'm going to start on my outer corner and I'm just going to blend that gradually into my crease. And I'm going to slowly work it up towards my brow bone, but not too far up. You still want to be able to see part of your brow bone, but I just want to blend it up a little bit higher. Because when you add that silver, you're going to lose a lot of the black anyway. Just, it just adds a nice smoky effect, I think. Black is such a harsh shade, so you've really got to blend it in so it just doesn't look so like, clumpy. It's fine if you get it lower down because what we're going to do is we're going to cut crease. So I'm just going to go in just one more time into the crease. Like so. At the moment it looks quite messy, but it does, you will tidy it all up. Next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to cut the crease. So I'm going to take this RCMA concealer palette and just this really small flat brush. I'm just going to dip it into the concealer. I'm going to start on the inner corner and work my way to the outer corner. You see what I mean. What we want to do is we want to start like just to leave that part of the black right there in the outer corner but conceal the rest of it. Now that's all done I'm going to take another small flat brush and this Fix Plus and although I've concealed my eyes this just really helps me work with the glitter shade so I just spritzed that twice and now I'm going to go into this shimmer shade right here and you're only going to use this in the inner corner and then you're going to use your finger to go out but you'll see what I mean. I just want to start packing that on. Now what I'm going to do is just take my finger and I'm just going to dip it in there as you can see and I'm just going to pat that onto my lid just because it's easier to work with the shade with your finger than it is with a brush. Don't worry if it kind of falls down slightly because I haven't yet concealed or put any foundation on. So it doesn't really matter about that. I'm just going to dip back into the black and then I'm just going to go on the outer corner and then just blend out any harsh line. Like so. And then I'm just going to take the brush that I had the light brown shade on and I'm just going to 
go over the edges my brow slightly now just to tidy all that up I'm just going to take a, a face wipe and I'm just going to go into my inner corner slightly and just clean up any excess that's fell onto my face and then I'll add my foundation and concealer like so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll jump back on screen and show you the finished look so that is the final look guys it's um what i did was i actually if, if you can see i smoked out underneath my eye as well so i wanted a really simple kind of makeup look so just applied blusher and a little bit of highlighter and then just have pale lips and then just obviously have really quite dramatic eyes. I think it looks so beautiful, for, especially for New Year's because you want something that will really give that vibrancy and kind of party appearance. I just love it. I think it works out really, really well and I'm quite liking this hairstyle, although I don't think I'll be able to keep it up, keeping it combed back, so. <laughs> but. I love it, I do really love it. Really quick, simple New Year glam. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.